All right, John, let's talk 15s. Let's start with Safari uh, because Safari 15 just came out for the Mac this week. And I think this was a really smart move of Apple to get this, you know, very commonly used tool updated ahead of people getting Mac OS Monterey. Right. There's going to be other changes with Monterey. Let's 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 do let's shift the time shift, the Safari one so that, you know, people can get used to this and and sort it out before jumping into Monterey proper Uh of course, you don't have to update to Safari 15. You can you can stay on 14 at least for a little while. But uh, I took my main Mac. I have not taken the Mac here in this studio up to 15 yet because I always kind of wait for the studio Mac a little bit anyway. And uh, especially when we rely on it for you know things like doing the show. I you know there's the there's an obvious change to the way tabs are handled. And if you are someone that has lots of tabs open all the time this is going to be jarring. Uh, Apple, I would say even more so than with iOS, uh, Safari on the Mac really changes because on iOS, on iPad OS, you can see your tabs out there, but on iPhone, you're really only looking at one tab at a time. So you might have, you know, hundreds of them open in the background, but they are in the background, right? You, you know, and, I, and and actually with iOS 15, they get a little more foregrounded, but still, you're only seeing one at a time. On the Mac, you know, you are seeing all of your tabs or most of them, many of them, open all the time. And this changes things. Uh, just the way tabs are represented in the bar, the standard view is that things are separate, right? I think if we go, so I brought my laptop up so that I could have Safari here. But if you go to Safari preferences and go to general, uh, sorry, tabs, Safari preferences tabs, not general. And uh, you have compact or separate. And what they're, what that defines is whether or not the tabs and the URL bar are in the same line vertically or in two separate lines vertically. So on a laptop where you have even less vertical space than you might on, you know, like a larger screen, you might want to try compact to see how you like having things really packed in, but it does get really packed in. And, uh, I, I'm not sure I can live with that even on my 13 inch laptop. Like I might have to give up the extra, whatever, you know, 40 pixels at the top or whatever it works out to be. I like, I mean, it's a lot like, like that's, you know, that's what, maybe mm, one eighth of the one fifth of the screen, maybe or so. Like, I don't know. We can I can do the math. I'll do the math so that we, we know how much of the screen it's taking up. But still, uh, so it's eight hundred and seventy six pixels top to bottom. And that little bar is uh, thirty six pixels. So, yeah, right. You know, that's uh, a four percent of the screen. So there you go. Uh, I, that said. I am I am finding it fairly easy to migrate my thinking and and muscle memory over to Safari 15 on the Mac. But I don't keep hundreds of tabs open. I might keep a dozen tabs open at any point in time. How is how has this been going for you, John? Um no difference really. I'm like, "Oh, okay, visually it's a little different." And, sure. Um and yeah, they do some color matching with the page that you're on which i kind of noticed yeah but other than that you know uh i hit the same keys and the same thing happens visually so i'm yeah. okay with it yeah yeah I, I i i agree right it functionally it's the same now there are tab groups so if you are someone who uses tabs in sort of functional ways as opposed to just like letting it be the dump zone uh Tab groups can be, I can see where that would be a very useful thing. And I might, you know, I might come back in a month and, and be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I was never using tab groups before. You need to hear about this. And then I'll tell you about it. Uh, for me, that it it has never been a thing using things that way. So I, I need to get into a workflow where perhaps it is. And, you know, so we'll see. Have you messed with tab groups at all, John? They do sync across devices. No. Okay. 